Hello, uh, welcome to Pearl River Public Library at Home. I'm Jim Cassetta, and I'm going to bring you another tale of local history today. It uh, concerns a cult, a cult that was here in the early 1880s in Pearl River. Its whereabouts were not known, but it's an interesting story. In 1881, a man named John Newborough had come back from the Australian gold fields and set up a cult. The cult predicted that by 1947 all of the institutions of this country were to come to an end, would collapse in on themselves on corruption. He got together with some like-minded people. Uh, one woman, Frances Vanderwall Sweet, who was also his lover, ran an orphanage. What they were going to do was to rebuild society after this collapse uh, using children that were abandoned in New York City on the streets or at police stations. They uh, actually left money with police sergeants to bring them children who were unwanted. At some point they were uh, prosecuted for carrying out an orphanage operation without the proper state licensing and were convicted in state court. They were reprimanded and told not to do it. This forced them to uh, go to Woodbridge, New Jersey. They were given a farm by an elderly couple who also lived there at the time and the deal was that if this group of individuals now including a man named Tanner, Dr. Henry Tanner, who was known for his uh, fasting, health through fasting, he uh, joined the group in Woodbridge and they had to make a go of the farm and show a profit in two years. Newborough uh, had a very um, irritating personality and everybody just wasn't up to farm work so they lost the farm and were thrown out. They were against alcohol, they were against eating meat, they believed in automatic writing, they believed in spiritualism. They were the original New Age cultists and they came to Pearl River. Somebody in their group from New York City had property on Middletown Road, we believe, and the group came to Pearl River in the early spring of 1883 where they set up a camp. The children went about one washed. They had no medical uh, attention because they believed in spiritual healing and prayer. Uh, they did not have milk. They eschewed milk for the children and um, they were vegetarians living out in tents in a camp that they called Mount Horeb. Camp Mount Horeb. H-O-R-E-B. I have been unable to find the location of this camp, but it does exist in newspapers and uh, other records. What happened was the local women seeing the children cold, dirty, and probably hungry, living in tents. It was still cool out in March, as it is probably now. This is even better weather. And what happened was that they alerted one of our local constables, either uh, Sam, well, would, at that time it would have had to be uh, Dr. Uh, A.J. Bogert, who, A.O. Bogert, excuse me, who was um, the Justice of the Peace at the time and responsible for the general welfare of the community. He sent uh, a note or personally talked to a fellow named Debon, who was the druggist in Nyack. He was the head of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. And they came out to Pearl River. What they saw was alarming, and they wrote a report to Elbridge Gerry II, or Gerry as I'm told the pronunciation is. His uh, ancestor had invented ger gerrymandering that we have in politics today. And they came for an investigation. Once they were investigated, the 
Rockland County Journal News said that they had lit out post haste and left Pearl River for Donna Anna, New Mexico. Now we know while they were here in Pearl River they had a convention in this tent camp and uh, the Philosophical Society uh, run by Madame Blavatsky and Led George Ledbetter when they published the uh, Gazette, the Madras Gazette, of all the psychic and New Age uh, writings that had been published in uh, the year 1884, uh, there it was, the Tay of the Faithist was a book. Tay, T-A-E meant law, written by Henry Tanner, and it uh, laid out all of their rules and with a convention and basically the public place of publication is listed as Pearl River, New York. So that was our experience. In Rockland County, Nyack is known as the New Age uh, Center, but in 1883 Pearl River was there first with um, all sorts of tenants from Christian science. It seems that uh, the Faithists were first with all of their uh, tenants and laws and they were after their demise they chopped up uh, other groups chopped up their uh, laws and teachings and followings and adopted them as their own so that's an interesting point about Pearl River that a lot of people don't know about they uh, are listed uh, in various uh, places the faithists but they were gone by 1940 uh, three, I believe, when a flood wiped out their compound in Donna Anna County, New Mexico, a place called Shalom. Well, if anybody knows the whereabouts of uh, Camp Mount Horeb, that would be helpful. But till then, we only have these precursors of uh, Rockland County's New Age centers which are now all in Nyack, but originally all got their start in Pearl River through this group. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy.